for sorry somebody just joined okay as a review open for business so you are entrepreneurs and you want to set up your own company according to a recent study in the uk about one in three new businesses fell during the first year and about 50 percent within the first three years so it's hard but don't let that put you out setting up a business is risky but you can succeed if you follow some simple advice number one planning is the key to success it's important to carry out research before you start your business contact people who work in the same field and find out what they do go to trade fairs and look into different business models what is different about your company number two ask for advice if you don't have much business knowledge you should ask for help professional business analysts can point out weaknesses in your business model it's important to short out any problems before you start mistakes are expensive number three make a financial plan make sure you put together a clear financial plan for your first few years break it down so that you know your costs and your earnings what bills do you expect to pay will you have to hire extra staff during busy periods if you have a family who will look after your children when you work late you may need to pay someone number four know your customer to be successful your company must meet a need in the marketplace Carry out informal surveys is a good way of getting to know your potential customers. So don't be shy. Find out what they really think. Ask them. Number five, location, location, location. You can have the best restaurant in town, but if it's in the wrong place, no one will come and your business will fail within a year. If you're opening a warehouse, good transport links and cheap rental costs will be a priority. Look into different areas and different towns. Don't just look at the places you know. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, so this one, what we learned from last week. Now we can continue to uh, this exercise. We also finish and uh, hopefully you still remember them. Right. They are good uh, verbs, both. I mean, the fresh verbs and the, the meaning here. These are words that you will see or you you choose every day in, in the workplace especially when you work in an international environment where people speak english for communications and uh, for this one we also finish correct everyone yep okay we already finished this one and uh, this one this one was your homework i don't know many of you did or not and this one, how about this one? Suchita, have we done this together last week? I think so, finished already, right? Hello? Yeah, last week, ah, I... Yeah. Okay, um, that's it. I asked Mason. Oh, I forgot, sorry. Okay, that I finished this one already, correct? So... Oh, no, no, not yet. Not oh, yet. not yet. Oh, this one, we're supposed to start on this one. All right, that's okay then. All right, so this one also fresh or verb. Look at the fresh or verbs in the diagram. So this, these are called diagram. You can see there are two diagrams and then complete the sentences with the correct words. Uh, the first one, turn, we have turned down. We have turn on, turn up, turn up. And this one, take up, turn, take off, take on, take over. So these are fresh or verbs. Again, threshold verb is the combination between verb and preposition. All right, that we call them threshold verb. When there's a verb plus prepositions, the meaning is the meaning change. Sometimes you cannot find it in a dictionary. If your dictionary is small, you may not find the meaning. Or sometimes you don't get the meaning if you see it in the dictionary. Okay, that's why we call them threshold verb. And uh, you have to complete these fresh verbs in uh, these sentences, number one until number eight. Uh, let's read together first. Number one, I take 
my father, I'm similar to him in many ways. Number two, I apply for a job for, with them, but they turned me. I didn't have enough experience. Number three, after the plan took off, they started serving drinks. Number four, please remember to turn your computer before you leave work. Number five, they taken 50 new workers, so business must be doing well. Number six, he turned an hour late for the meeting. It was really rude. Number seven, large, multi, uh, large multinationals take small companies to get the market shares. Number eight, she turns the TV and started to avoid the news. Okay, so now let's look at number one. We do number one together as an example, and then number two until number eight. I'm going to give you some time to do it. Okay, so number one, I take. So you can take, we have take after, take off, take over, and take on. My father, I'm similar to him in many ways. All right, so what is the answer for this one? Yes, what is the answer for this one? Take off. Take off. I take off my father. Not really. Sorry, take after. OK, take after is the like, by its meaning to say that you follow your father's style. Oh, yeah. And in many ways, both uh, appearance and personality. Right. I take after my father. I'm similar to him in many ways. OK, now number two until number eight. I want you to do this one by yourself and uh, I'm going to give you five minutes. So. Please uh, complete your answer in your textbook. If you don't have textbook, please write your answer in your notebook. All right, please be a student. OK, we check the answer at the 129. Thank you.
Okay, now time is up. Let's uh, check the answer together. Now number two. So number two, I want to ask uh, Lekina, can you do number two, please? Yes, teacher. Two, I applied for a job with them, but they turned me down. I didn't have enough experience. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Watana, number three. Yes, teacher. After the plan took, uh, took us, they start serving drink. Okay, took off. They start serving drink. Thank you very much. And number four, Bonhei. Yes, sir. Uh, please remember to turn off your computer before you leave work. Okay, thank you very much. Manit, number five. Yeah, my leg is sleeping now, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we call Mr. Tahua, Lee Tahua, number five, please. Uh, they have taken. Uh, they have taken. Now we finish this one and uh, and this one. We still have only on and over, no down, Mr. Take, not turn. So which one? Take over or take on? Okay, still take, don't have. Take on. Okay, take on, right? Take on mean, I will give you the meaning yeah, later on if you, uh, uh, but after we finish. All right, number six, uh, Uksa. Yeah, Uksa, no? Okay, number six, Bupha. Uh, number six, he turned up an hour left for the meeting. It was really good. Okay, turn up. And then uh, number seven, uh, okay, Suchita. A uh, land multinational uh, nation uh, take on a small company to get their market share. Take on finish. There are only one answer left. Take oh, oh no. Uh, take over. No, I multinational, no. not multi nation. Okay, take over. And the last one, I do it for you. Okay, otherwise. <laughs> Turn on the TV. All right, now I would like to read for you number one until number eight. Number one, I take after my father. I'm similar to him in many ways. Number two, I apply for jobs with them, but they turned me down. I didn't have enough experience. Number three, after the plan took off, they started serving drinks. Number four, please remember to turn off your computers before you leave work. Number five, they taken on 15 new workers, so business must be doing well. Number six, he turned up an hour late for the meeting. It was really rude. Um, number seven, large multinationals take over small companies to get the market shares. And number eight, he turned on the TVs and started to watch the news. Okay, so Abu Pan, can you read? Again, number one to number eight. Yes, sir. I take up to my father. I am similar to him to many ways. I apply for a job with them, but they turn me down. I didn't ha have enough experience. After the plan took off, they started serving drinks. Please remember to turn off your computer before you leave work. Uh, they, they've taken on 15 new workers, so business must be doing well. He turned up an hour late for the meeting. It was really rude. Large multinationals take over small companies to get their market share. They turn on the TV 
and started to watch the news. All right, thank you very much. Okay, any question from this exercise, everyone? Teacher. All right, if you don't have questions, then we continue to the next one. OK. All right, so this one. Um, you are OK, this one you are on an uh, entrepreneur, yes, right, entrepreneur. You already learned this word, right? Uh, business owner. OK, business owner. Business owner, so you are going to present your idea for a new company, a group of investors. So you know investor, uh, investor, you don't know a chance for you. Uh, uh, we call. Actually, I don't know whether we have a space like this. Something like that, but normally we don't this one. Oh, sorry, two times. OK. OK, uh, prepare a five minutes presentation. Think of the following things. So right now. You do not have a business. OK, but I just want you to make up the kind of business that you are going to make or you plan to make or you you uh, dream of and then. Uh, give a presentation, but I'm not going to ask you right now because this one I'm going to keep, keep it as a homework. Anyway, I'm going to give you example for this. So if you don't understand any point, please let me know. Otherwise, you cannot get the mark for the homework. All right. So now uh, the name of your company. So the name of the company. Anybody can give me the example. One example. Any idea of the company you want to make and what is the name? Hello. All right. For OK, for me, uh, my I would use my name. I used to see OK, CS OK, uh, fashion, for example. So uh, I open a store. Okay. So company here can be a store, can be a shop, can be a restaurant, can be a company, can be a bank. So but I, I want to open a fashion store, right? And number two, this is number one. The name is CS Fashion, right? And what is your business model? What product and service are you selling? So the business model here, you're going to learn more from your management class. I mean, you're going to learn a lot about the business model and you can follow them. But from our English for business here, we don't talk much about that. So number two here, you just tell us what product and service are you selling? So, so CS Fashion would sell uh, clothes. OK, clothes here for male and female. All right. And we also sell perfume. OK, perfumes. All right, so these are the things that we sell in our shop. Number three what location okay number three here what location will you choose for your business so location that i choose for my business i would put put it in a good uh, locations i think i would put uh, okay whatever you you do this uh remember we we learn a lot from from this slide ask why why make a financial plan know your customer location 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 so location is one of the most important factors to do a business. All right. So you need to be careful on that. So my location, I think I'm going to spend a lot of money on uh, locations. I run. I don't have my place on my own. So I'm going to I'm going to try to have one. Uh, I think maybe Oh, wait, what happened? OK, I will I will uh, put it just in front house. In front house not market for example okay this is my location right i think this is the best location because there's a lot of clothes shops over there people who want to buy clothes they go to bank Chuk market or not market all right or like a lot of shops along road number three along road number one so i think 
in front of that market would be the best place for me to sell a lot of clothes. And who are your potential customers? Actually, the word potential customer, I already translate for you if you if you uh, joined the class last week. OK, so my potential customer, I would say uh, my the university student. OK, university student, because university student, you know, they are they are they are young and they are fashionable. They like to wear new things. And then I think they are my potential customers. They're going to go and buy my my clothes, my perfume and. Uh, my target, this one target. OK, not potential, but target customer. Uh, people who come and buy my products, I think would be people whose age. OK, between 18 to 35. So university student also in this one. 18, 22, 23, 24, that is university students. But uh, the people who I targeted to come and buy my products, to come and buy my clothes, my perfume, would be aged between 18 to 35. Okay, so this one, my potential customer. And then how much money for start up? If I want to start up my business, my shop, how much money do I need? I think I may need uh, 400, uh, okay, 40,000, okay, now 40,000 dollars, US dollars. I think a lot, right? 40,000, because you know why? And then they ask you, what, then they ask you, what will you spend this on? Okay, so this amount of money I will spend on what? So I will put the answer here, okay? So I will spend on the run. Run is expensive, I think. See, I run the, my location, I run the place, and I may spend on uh, employee. Employee, okay. Uh, plan on uh, decoration. Okay, I spend on uh, electricity, this example. And I spend a lot, right? extra, so I put just easy extra. OK, so this the money here I would spend on this one. And then they ask you one more question. How much income do you hope to make in your first few years? So the income that I uh, expect to make in the. In the my first few my first year, not for a few years, my first year, I think I just want to make around this only. Uh, I don't want to make a lot at all. Just this is enough for me. If I can earn more than that, it would be great. But I don't think I can earn less than that. All right, because uh, I, my location is at the right place and there's a lot of people uh, looking to, I mean, to to be beautiful, nice. And my clothes are all functions and new up to that. Everything is just for the university students and for those who age between 18 and 15. So it look attractive, right? People like to decorate themselves. So I think this money I made for the first year. And what are your prediction, uh, your predicted profits for the first five years? So five years, I think I'm going to earn at least $60,000. I think maybe even, I say maybe between eight, $3,000 to $100,000, all right? OK, this this is the money that I um, believe I can make in the next five years. OK, uh, let me do the summary for you. So the name of my company is CS Fashions and the products that I sell. Right in my companies are clothes and perfumes. And my company is located in front of nut markets. The potential customers that I think uh, are university students, but I also uh, thought I also think that people whose age between 18 and 15 are also my target customer. All right, and the startup money that I need for my business is four t thousand dollars. I always spend this money on rent, employees, decoration, electricity, and other expenses extra. The income that I hope to make for the first year 
would be ten thousand dollars and for the first five years i expected to make between eighty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars okay like can okay, you summarize what i said again here hello oh what happened Okay, look like now it's not available here, I guess. Okay, so look like now it's not available. So I will call uh, Watana. Watana, please summarize again what I said. Or you can follow the information you see on my slide and share with your friends. Now, what happened now? Can you hear me, everyone? Tara? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, so how about other students? Why they keep quiet? <laughs> okay, so if you can hear me, so I want you to uh, do the summary of what I just said, or you can follow the information provided on the slide here. Okay, Dara, please. Uh, you want to me to summarize? I don't understand. Can you explain again? You just say uh, the name of the company is okay. The company sell what clothes and perfume just follow what i said okay uh ca fashion is the name of company like this teacher okay yes okay cs fashion is the name of company and the business model that product for sale is uh like as a clothes uh perfume and the clothes is for male and the female and the location that chose for business in front of us, the net market. And the potential customer is for the university student that they act from 18 to 35. And the money need to start up is we need to uh, $800,000. Oh, sorry, $400,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, the money that uh, spend it on they are electricity, rents, employee, and anything. And uh, the income that hope to make in the first years is $800,000. And the predict, uh, predict profit for the first five years is hope going to have $800,000 to uh, one, $1 million, right here. Oh, this one eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollar to one hundred thousand dollars. To one hundred thousand dollar. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And um, uh, this one gonna be your homework, but I make it easy for you. Let me show you. Uh, in case you, um, I will show you the. I will send you the homework today. Please don't worry. Okay. Right. For example, here. OK, so the homework here, uh, you don't need to um, write it and take a photo anymore. Uh, you can just write your answer right here. For example, the name of your company, shop, store, or business. OK, you can, I think maybe you can also listen, right? Oh, no. OK, no. Oh, they did for you even. But that's OK, no, no need for that. So you can tie the name of the company, like example, I say CS, CS Fashion. Okay, and then uh, what is your business model? You're selling what? Okay, so this this would be your homework, and you can just write your answer there. So after you finish, you can send submit here, all right? And then you will see your mark. Oh no, you may not see because. Uh, uh, unless you get, uh, you can you can see your mark only uh, from question number ten to number fifteen and number one until number uh, seven. Maybe I have to correct it because you may make mistake here. So I just show you example. This will be your homework. You need two homework: open a business and managing meetings. All right. Okay. So. 
I'm not going to ask you to do now. So you, you can see the example from the slide here and you can rewatch the video. And uh, after class, I'm going to send you a homework. And the homework here, you don't need to write on a piece of paper, take photo, whatever. You can type on your mic, uh, on your mobile phone. If you use mobile phone, if you use computer, you can just type and put submit. It's easy. Okay, okay, everyone. Now, hear me or not? Sujita, Bupha, Bonheng, that's my money. Okay, I think some students can hear me very well. Some students, I don't know what happened. All right, so this one we're gonna go. Oh, this one was your homework last week, correct? Did you do it, everyone? Hello. Oh, today I didn't yes, see. Sir. Yeah, I didn't see the man night, right? Right. Okay, now for just uh, correct this. Oh, sorry. Do this uh, homework together. An excellent. We have a lot, uh, a lot of good words. The reason I uh, assign this one as a homework because. I believe you should develop yourself, improve yourself to be an excellent employee or excellent person. You can, you should not be just a simple one, right? You should upgrade yourself, especially for those who are very lazy, those who are very passive, don't want to do anything else. You should, you should, okay? Okay, now the word analytical, you can repeat up to me quietly, analytical, confident, diplomatic, enthusiastic, flexible, innovative, motivated, punctual, responsible, sort of, okay? I, I believe you all check dictionary. Uh, you all check dictionary because it was your homework and without checking dictionary, you may not be able to do this. So an excellent employee is who able to be trusted. So trusted here, what is it? Hello? Enthusiastic. Oh, not really to be trusted. Enthusiastic, feeling happy, exciting. Excited. And this one is to be trusted. Responsible. Uh, yes, responsible. You only can trust those who are responsible. Only if they are not res a responsible person, you don't them. Okay, who is to be trusted, responsible? It's always on time. What is it? Punctual. Okay, punctual, punctual. It's always on time, punctual. So never be late uh, for the class. Never be late for the, the work. And is clearly interested in his work, in his work and work hard. What is it? Motivate. Yes, motivate. Right. Motivational or motivated? But I put motivational, actually it's supposed to be motivated. His idea are new. What is it new? Hello? Hello, guys. This is your homework. It is not a quiz, so you should be able to do it. Innovative. Yes, very good. Innovative. His idea are new. Innovative. And he is sure about his own ability. Sure about his own ability. What is it? Confident. Yes, confident. Confident. When putting them forward. He is also good at dealing with people in difficult situations. Yeah. Good at dealing. Diplomatic. Diplomatic. Diplomatic, meaning to say he's good at talking, good at communication, diplomatic, and is able to change to suit new situations. Yeah. Flexible. Yes, excellent. Flexible. Perhaps he needs to be a little more logical and scientific. Yeah. Logical and scientific, what is it? Hello. Analytical. Yeah, analytical about his approach. But his report are very detailed. What is it detail here? Yeah? Oh, what uh, the last one? 
Okay, sorrow, 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 right? Okay, sorrow. His best uh, quality is he's exciting and interested about everything. So enthusiastic. Okay, this one misspelling, enthusiastic. Okay, let me read for you again. Uh, an excellent employee who is able to be trusted, responsible, okay? He is always on time, punctual, and is clearly interested in his work and works hard, motivational. His ideas are new, innovative, and is sure about his own ability, confident when putting them forward. He is also good at dealing with people in the in difficult situation, diplomatic, and is able to change to suit new situations, flexible. Perhaps he needs to be a to, to be a little more logical and scientific, analytical about his approach. But his reports are very detailed, thorough. His best quality is that he is excited and interested, enthusiastic about everything. Okay, for this, I would like to ask um, Suchita, can you read all again for your friends? Yes, sure. An excellent employee who is about to be trust responsible. He is always on time, punctual, and he is and is clearly interested in his work and work hard. Motivation, um, motivation. His idea are you involved? innovation uh innovative and he is sure about his own ability confident um when putting them forward he is also good at um dealing dealing with people in the difficult situation um diplomatic and is about to change to shoot new situation flexible. Perhaps he needs to uh, be a little more logical and scientific um, analytical about his approach, uh, but his report are um, very detailed uh, truth. Um, he, he best Quality is uh, that he is excited and interested in enthusiastic and enthusiastic um, about everything. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Suchita, have you practiced reading this at home? No? no. Seems like. Not that. <laughs> okay, you know why? Because uh, you don't uh, practice. Uh, practice. As a result, you cannot read very well, right? If you cannot read very well, you cannot speak very well. If you cannot speak very well, you are poor at English. It's very simple. Uh, whatever you are learning from here, I don't know how you feel. But whatever you are learning from the subject here, everything is important for you when you, uh, you know, when you when you get a job or when you become a staff or when you open a business by yourself. Now, if you want to be the best, if you want to become a manager in a place where you work, you need to be an excellent employee. So in order to become an excellent employee, you have to make sure you have this quality. Okay, you have to make sure you have this quality. And if you are a business owner, you are an entrepreneur, okay, business owner, you need good people to work for you, correct? If you need people, good people to work for you, you need to give them promotion. You need to look at this one as well. Who has this one? And then you're gonna get them to work for you as a manager, as a so, for example, a promotion manager and other thing, director. So, this lesson is important for you. Hopefully, you take it seriously, learn more, practice more, right? 
that the more you read, the more you'll be able to speak well, and you're going to be great at English. All right, so uh, this one, I don't ask you whether you had a question or not, because it was your whole work. That's why I did not give you time to, uh, to think about the answer, and uh, hopefully you did it all together. Okay, now let's go to the next one, work skills, team meetings. Okay, this one skill that you need to have, team meetings. What page is it, everyone? This one? Hello? Hello? Do you 23. open your book? Okay, 23. How about the student I want to test the line? Manik, that's my. Can you hear me? Okay, the three students don't hear. Yes, teacher. The line that Smay can hear. Manik, no. Okay, come uh, here and bun here. Hello, sir. Okay, Kumhain cannot hear me. Okay, Sona and Sumanita. Okay, both of them don't hear me. And uh, Suchita can hear me. How about Renek and Watana? Yes, sir. Okay, Watana can hear me now. How about Lekina and Rasi? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Lekana can hear, Rasi cannot. Dara can vacuum. Yes, sir. Pitong? No, Pitong not. Okay, Thai San? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Sok Lin? Yes, sir. Okay, well, Pa can hear, Usa? Usa, no. Usa? Yes, sir. Oh, just now. Panya, Limi? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, Li Hei? Chun Li Hei? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and Tao Hua. All right, I don't know other students. Uh, uh, if you can hear me, please answer the question, all right? Don't just stay quiet. If you, are stay, if you just stay quiet like that, I don't know how you study. And... Our class is not good as well. You have to know that now whatever we are doing here is being recorded. So if you don't talk, uh, you know, it sounds not, the video is not good itself. It's not interesting to watch. And uh, it is not a good class because you just stay quiet. And when you don't know, so sorry teacher, I don't know. Very simple. Okay, so now we are talking about team meeting. Okay, uh, normally we have meetings. Meeting can be formal and informal. Yeah? Formal and informal. Okay, uh, normally uh, I translate for you uh, uh, this one like this, and this one like this. Okay? Uh, normally we have a lot of informal meetings. Informal meetings, just like you meet your friends you know, along the ways and talk, or sometimes you come to school and you have breakfast together and you talk about something. You don't have a purpose, you know. You don't have purpose, right. Uh, all right. You don't have purpose in talking, in conversation. You just do it. Okay, that would be informal meeting. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about formal meeting because once you go to work, everything must be formal. It can be informal sometimes when you have a break from work, 15 minutes, coffee break, another thing, you can talk about something else. But most of the times, in order before they develop or they have a new projects, okay, or they want to uh, sum up the report or at the end of the month in the companies or any kind of working environments, they are likely to have a meeting. So how can you do well in a meeting? That is the main questions. All right, so we have two questions here. Do you ever go to team meetings? Who is at the meetings? Uh, what do you talk about? Where do you usually have the meeting? And how long do they usually last? All right, so this is question number one. 
And number two, what make a team meeting successful and unsuccessful? Seeing our example. Okay, um, number one. Yes, I do. I go to the team meetings very often on weekend. My friends and I drink coffees and discuss a lot about creativities in teaching. Okay, so on the weekends we have a coffee. Uh, we have coffee together. We have uh, <coughs> sorry. We have meeting together and we drink coffee and discuss a lot about creativities and teachings at Amazon Coffee. We offer we often spend around an hour talking and sharing a few things with each other. What we should be doing in order to improve the quality of teachings, in order to help the student to learn more. All right. So this is the answer for number one. Now question number two. What make a team meeting successful or unsuccessful? All right, I think my friends and I enjoy the time together, so we like to do it. So, but what we like to do it, it is the sign of success uh, meeting. I guess we share common visits, looking for practicals and creative ideas to improve our career, to improve our job. And we are honest to each other. We don't take advantages over each other. We treat each other fairly. We both love the team meetings. OK, for this, I would like to ask uh, Watana, can you read again the question and the answer for your friends? Yes, sir. What do you ever go to team meeting? Who is at the meeting, what do you talk about? Where do you usually have the meeting? How long do they usually last? So what make a team meeting successful or unsuccessful? Sing or example. One, yes, I do. I go to the team meeting very often on weekend. My friend and I drink coffee and discuss a lot about creative in teaching at Amazon Coffee. We often spend around an hour talking, sharing, and I guess in with each other too. I think my friend and uh, too. I think my friend and I always enjoy our time together. I guess we share common with looking for practical and creative idea to improve our career, and we are honest to each other. We don't take advantage over each other. We treat each other fairly. We but love the team meeting. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Right now, I want you to uh, answer these two questions by yourself. And I think you can have around six minutes to do it. All right. You have around six minutes to answer these questions by yourself. And we check the answer together at 8.13. Okay, please. Uh, write the answer in your notebook. If you have questions or you want me to trans translate any word from Khmer to English or English to Khmer, please let me know. Please ask me, right? Okay, if you don't, do it quietly. So at uh, age 13, I'm going to call some of you to give the class the answer.
Hey, yes. Vâng kim. Um, bạn kim hang tell me our permission one day to chờ. Uh, what happened? What happened? Uh, vâng kim. Um, I don't know the chờ. Uh, you can tell her to ask by herself. Yes, it's her. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now time is up. Let's uh, try and check the answer together. All right. So I want to hear from Marie. Marie, read question number one and then give the answer, please. Oh, okay, read question number one and then give your own answer. Oh, Marie, just join the uh, class. Yes, you just joined the class. Did you do this one? Have, have you finished the answer or not yet? Not yet, sir. Okay, not yet. So I will call other students uh, because you just joined the class. Okay, the, the, the line. Number one, please. Number one. Do you ever go to team meeting? Who is at the meeting? What do you talk about? Where do you usually have to meeting? Have the meeting? How long do they usually last? Okay. Yes, I do. So my own answer, the chair. Yes, please. Yes, I do. Um. I have a friend meeting. Uh, when we meet, we we study about grade twelve. Uh huh. Now still study uh, uh, something from grade twelve. Yeah. Okay. I usually have the meeting at time cafe. Okay. Um. We often spend. Three hour for studying. Okay. What do you study? Much. Yeah. Math. Right now, still doing it or not? No. Uh, before. No, you before. How about yes. now? Do you have any meeting recently? Now, no teacher. No. Can go. I, I can go out. Okay, because of COVID nineteen, right? Yes. But you can have a team meeting uh, on uh, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, or on Microsoft team here. <laughs> right? So you can just keep talking. If you want to improve your English, you can practice speaking English with your friends. Do some presentation to each other. Just one year, you're going to be great. OK, thank you very much, the line. Uh, Manik, question number two, please. Oh, but next this morning, why cannot hear anything at all from you? I just joined for a turn down or what? <laughs> okay, so let can I number two, please. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what makes a team meeting successful or unsuccessful? Uh, for me, the meetings is about uh, the assignment project. So. It's about uh, the study thing. So I think every member share one another about our ideas we found or we came up with to make sure we understand about the topic of the project altogether so that our project will be work well. Okay, so that make your team meeting successful. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so I want to hear from Liming. Liming question number one again, please. 
Teacher. Do you ever go to team meeting? Who is at the meeting? What do you do? What do you talk about? Where do you usually have the meeting? How long do you usually last? Yes, I do. Uh, but not often. I and my friend like to share about their university life and uh, especially at the Phnom Penh and uh, some of the problems that we are facing. So, some of oh, the problems. And we use, yes, and we usually have uh, a meeting at the coffee. Okay. So, share university life. At Phnom Penh. Right now you are in Matumbong or in Phnom Penh. You mean you're talking about your friend university life? Yes. They oh, share experience. We share experience to each other. And how about your friend right now? Where is he in Matumbong? Some of them at Phnom Penh. And some okay. So how can you have how can you have a coffee with him, with them? When they come? Uh yes, when they come. Okay, thank you. Uh, that makes sense. Last month. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Hope you hopefully you learn a lot from from them. Okay, and uh, the next one, question number two again, would be for Bupa. Bupa, question number two. Oh. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we call the same student over and over again because uh, some of the students uh, are quiet all the time, so I cannot call them. Okay, Dara, number two, please. Number two, what's my team meeting success or unsuccess? And seeing as example, uh, the way that make team meeting successful is how communicate well with each other and team members are diverse. Example, just sharing to member team about opinion and idea and consideration what others say. And the oh. reason that make team meeting unsuccessful is member team not focused about the meeting, don't have member team to do something, and don't share some idea to member team. Uh, example, don't have the ability to think clearly and rationally. That is the reason that make team fail. Wow, very good answer. Thank you very much, Dara. And uh, I just want to let you know that some of you may do it, some of you may not do it, but uh, I just want to let you know that uh, if you uh, in the quiz, all right, that's right, homework here, uh, I think maybe question number, let's see question number one. Okay, question number eight, the same question. So you can just copy and answer and write it here. Okay, uh, Dara, like now, whatever you uh, the line of uh, okay, do you ever go to team meeting? What is it? And uh, Dara, what are the uh, what makes a team meeting successful? Answers putting or example, so you can write your answer right here. You get it or not? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you very much. And for and for this one, question number 10 here up to number 15, you have to watch video and you have to do the answer. I feel like a waste of time and energy. And this video, all... we have been in Bali manage meeting, meetings that seem to go round in circle without. Anyway, I'm gonna send it to you. You're gonna figure out what is it. All right. Okay, so we close it, and uh, then we go back to our lessons. Okay, so now we can continue to the next one. Number two, look at the tips. Okay, this one are the tip. How many tips do you see, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> there are eight tips, correct? Okay. Uh, which do you think are the five most essential things for a chair to do? So this one uh, essential, important. Okay, for a chair here, uh, group leader or team leader, right? Team leader, team leader in a meeting, or you can say like this. All right, so we have number one until number eight. Number one, have a clear agenda. Email this to everyone before the meeting. Number two, keep two times. Don't spend too much or too long on one agenda point. Number three, keep the atmosphere light and friendly. Number four, agree action points for each items on the agenda. 
summarize this at the end. Number five, make sure everyone has the opportunity to speak. Number six, allow time for informal conversation. This is important for team building. Number seven, if a team members need help, ask for volunteer or offer your help, offer help yourself. Make sure everyone understands issues, ask for more details if necessary. Okay, I translate some word for you. Uh, this one uh, I translate here. Uh, okay, and uh, atmosphere. Uh, keep the atmosphere light. Okay, atmosphere. Okay, you can say. Okay, okay, and samurai. All right, uh, opportunity. I translate for you, okay, because these words are good and I want you to learn them. That's why I translate all the word without asking you because I know that you don't ask me any questions. Problems. Detail. Like this. OK. All right, so while your friends are taking note or copy in, I would like to ask uh, Marie, can you read again number one until number eight? Number one, have a clear agenda. I made it this to everyone before the meeting. Two, keep to time, don't spend too long on agenda point. Three, keep the atmosphere light and friendly. Four, Agree action point for egg item on the agenda. Summarize this at the thing. Five. Make sure everyone has the opportunity to speak. Six. Allow time for informal conversation. This is important for team building. Number seven. If a team member needs have asked for volunteer or after help yourself. Eight, make sure everyone understands issue. It is ask for more detail if, if necessary. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I want to ask one more student to read again. Uh, for this time, I would like to ask uh, Okay, so Jita, read again, please. Have a clear agenda. Email is to uh, email this to everyone before the meeting. Keep to time. Don't spend too long um, on one agenda point. Keep the atmosphere light. And friendly, agree attention point for each item on agen on the agenda. Summarize this at the end. Make sure everyone has the opportunity to speak. Allow time for informal conversation. This is important for the team building. If a team member need help us for the work, um, volunteer. For the offer, help yourself. Uh, make sure everyone understands as soon make for more detail if necessary. Okay, thank you very much. So I would like to read for you again. Have a clear agenda. Email this to everyone before the meeting. Keep to time. Don't spend too long on one agenda point. Number three, keep the atmosphere light and friendly. Number four, agree action points for each items on the agenda. Summarize this at the end. Number five, make sure everyone has the opportunity to speak. Number six, allows time for informal conversation. This is important for team building. Number seven, if a team member needs help, ask for volunteers or offer help yourself. 
Number eight, make sure everyone understand issues. Ask for more detail if necessary. Okay, so what they want you to do with this exercise, they want you to choose the five most essential things for the chair to do, chair to do. Chair here, you can see I already translate for you. So you can, there are eight. So which, which five are the most essential thing to do? Do you understand what to do, everyone? What yes, now? Okay, thank you very much. If, then I will give you around uh, four minutes to think. So four minutes is too long to think about that. So we will check the answer at 8.32. Uh, you just think which one are the most important to do it in the meeting. That you must do it. The most important for you to apply when you have a meeting. Okay, so we're going to check the answer together at 8.32. Please do it right now and try to give the reason as well, right? Okay, please.
All right, uh, thank you very much. Now time is up. I uh, would like to ask some students to share the answer to the class. OK, let's start with Liming. Liming, can you share the answer with the class? Which are the most five things for the chair to do? Uh, number one, have a clear agenda. Email to email this to everyone before the meeting. Mm -hmm. And number two, provide a reason and much. Okay, you can give reason if, if you can. That would be great. Uh, the first one, I mean that uh, if we a team leader, I mean that uh, to make sure that everyone prepare before the meeting. Okay, great. And number two, uh, keep to time. Don't spend too long on one agenda point. Okay. And uh. And number four, agree action point for each other item on the agenda. Summarize it. Summarize this at the end. And number five, make sure everyone has opportunity to speak. And number six, allow time for informal conversation. This is important for the team building. Okay, so you have five. You have number one, yes. number two, number four, five, four, and six. Five, six. Okay, thank you very much. I'm not going to ask uh, for the uh, more question. I just want to hear from you and now for, uh, I want to hear from Mr. Dara. How about you? Which are the five most important things that the, the chair need to do in the meeting? Oh, Dara now. Yes, yeah. Okay. okay uh, please. Number one, have a clear agenda email this everyone before the meeting. And number three, keeps the uh, Atmosphere, slice and friendly. Number four, uh, right. agree action point for each item or the agenda summarize this at the end. And number five, make sure everyone has the opportunity to speak. And number eight, make sure everyone understands issues, ask for more detail if necessary. Uh, because this five step is an important that leader team must have that could have team about to achieve a goal. Uh, OK, thank you very much. All right, so you have uh, one different answer. Two, I think, maybe, yeah, two. You don't have number six and number two. All right, so it depends on you. And uh, if you feel they are important, you can follow that. Actually, they are number one until number eight. They all are important. But if you choose the most five important among them, you choose this, OK? All right, I want to hear from a uh, lady now. Uh, Manish, I want to hear from you. OK, never ever today. Okay, yes, I can. OK, now I can hear from Manish. Oh my gosh. OK, Manish, did you do this exercise? Yes. OK, so which are the most essential thing for the chair to do? Mm, I choose number one, number three, number four, number five, and number eight. Number one, number three, number four, number five, number eight. All right. Your answer is exact same, Mr. Dara. Are you together now or what? No. No, I'm just kidding. All right. OK, so right now we can have a break. And when we come back, we can continue from here. OK, charge your phones and uh, drink water, eat breakfast. And come back at uh, 9 and 10. Thank you very much, everyone. Hello. Hello, guys. Right now we have bye, a break. Chai. Yeah, bye bye for now. <laughs> it went bye bye, also quiet. Did I say anything? Oh, my student.